I had a reader request to show you how I make my bows and so I thought I would do that today. First I have to give credit to my sister-in-law because she taught me everything I knew so thank you Linda. And I just wanted to show you you start with a nice run of ribbon and you just need some floral wire which you can find in the craft store. I usually cut a nice long piece to start with so maybe that's about 18 inches. Use your wire covers to give it a snip and just get a nice long run. Usually I leave it on the, um, the roll, however, it was at the end of the roll, so I just pulled it all off. So most ribbons have a front and a back. This one's not too different, but it's much softer on the front, so you just wanna know which side is your front, and it's really just about creating loops. So the first step is you wanna just create a loop that is gonna be the center of your bow, and then hold it like this between your thumb and your forefinger. And that's kind of where you're going to hold everything together until you're ready to use the wire. Okay, and then you simply twist it so that you again see the top and again you're holding between your thumb and your forefinger. Create your first loop and at the back twist it and hold it. Make a loop, twist it and hold it. Now if you were going to stop here that would be your last one. I'm going to do two Actually, I'll probably do three loops on each side. So again, same thing, go a little longer. Go to the center, twist it, hold it with your forefinger and thumb, loop it, twist it. Oh, I over twisted there, okay, here we go. So now I have my third loop on the right side, I twist my third loop on the left side. Okay, now you do one more twist. And then you bring all the way around so that you have a loop hanging down like that. You want to leave that there. And then you go and you grab your piece of wire you already cut. And where you've been holding, you now run the wire through. Run the wire. Twist it at the back. Nice and tight so it holds. Okay. Now you want to leave that hanging so you have something to use to hang it wherever you're going to put it. And take your loop that you hung from the bottom, go to the center of the loop, clip it, and then either trim it on an angle or fold them both in half and cut on an angle from the edges to the center so that you have that nice little tail and then you can kind of change the direction and kind of fluff it out. And then because this is a wired ribbon, which is always easier to work with, once you have it in place, you can give it a final fluff as well. Pull down your tails, and that is how you create a ribbon.